some guys out there they think that they, they think they're too too good looking all the time yeah you know flicking their hair looking themselves in the mirror they probably look at this themselves in the mirror about you know at least five times a day yeah far far for them brothers yeah looking at the mirror looking at themselves closely man when they look at me they think this that that yeah so these guys they wear the smartest clothes the iron clothes they go out you know that they're living they, they just go out and they know they know yeah the girls are just looking at them you know they, they've just got they've got the beauty they, they go out there and the girls are just looking at them and all the girls are <laughs> all giggly and bubbly around them yeah and these girls want the guy these girls want the guy but the funny thing is, yeah, the guy's handsome. And when these girls come after him, he says, nah, nah, I, I don't want that one. Um, I can get someone better than that. More beautiful than her. Why should I go after her for? The another girl's after him. Nah, you're not, you're not my charm yet. Another one comes, nah, not this one, not that one, not this one, not that one. And he's like, no, no, no. Out of all these 50 women that are after him, he's thinking, where's the 51st going to come? And if another 20 come, they think, oh, I want someone even more. And then someone is beautiful comes, they think, should I, should I, should I not, should I not? Should I pull all my eggs in a basket with this one? Should I, should I not? Maybe not. There's always more beautiful girls than that. And one day some real beautiful girl is going to come for me, yeah? Wild, yeah? While he's doing all this and he's being so picky and choosy and so arrogant with his own, own, own handsomeness, he considered others to be less pretty and less, less handsome than him. And you know what happens? Those guys are humble. You know what? They know they ain't got the looks here. They go in life, they think, man, which woman would ever even dream of marrying me? Yeah? I'll be lucky, man, even if a woman comes along and says that she likes me. And suddenly says, this, this nice girl comes up and likes him. And if he was the other guy, you know, Mr. Handsome, he would have said, nah, not her. I, I'm going to get more beautiful than that, yeah? So this, you know, this guy who considers himself not too good, he says, yeah, fine, proposal, yeah, fine, yeah, let's get married. So they get married, alhamdulillah. And the other guy who's Mr. Handsome, he's on his 71st one, he's thinking, where's the 72nd one, you know? He gets, he gets all, high, and he gets there, and then all of a sudden, he realizes that she's not coming along. And then he realizes all the girls that he rejected, they're all getting married. And then he realizes that, you know what? He said no to so many, nobody wants him right now. That guy thinks he's too arrogant. And in the end, he wants one, he wants one, he wants lesser than, less beautiful than the ones he rejected. He's not getting anyone. They're not interested in him anymore. They say, hey, hey, guy, how come you're 32 years old, man? How come you're 33? You ain't married yet. What's wrong with you? And now he's losing his, his hair, you get me? Yeah, before he's like flicking, all that. Yeah? And now he's losing his hair. Now he's thinking, man, I better find someone. It's funny how things change around. Man tawada alilla, whosoever is humble for Allah's sake, Allah raises them. Whosoever is arrogant, Allah will drop them to the ground. My friends, what we should do is we should recognize that it's only through Allah's giving that we have what we've got. <laughs>